Okay, so here we are on King Tide Sea Level Rise Flooding, Day 2, in Delray Beach, Florida. And you can see the water is coming to the lip of everybody's seawall. That's the only thing between them and a disaster. Unfortunately, on this side, the city put in a new seawall and we have two problems over here. And I'm gonna show you the gap problem in a moment, but water is also coming up through vents and up through the ground. And this has like flooded Veterans Park in Delray Beach. This was not intentional. They spent tens of millions of dollars on a brand new seawall, and here we are. I am walking in, oh, I'd say it's about almost a, maybe half a foot, three quarters of a foot of water. And the tide came in, and this is what we got. This didn't always happen. And we thought the seawall was gonna solve it, but look, it didn't solve it. And I think that the problem that they're running into Again, it could be twofold. It's the fact that they left a gap in the seawall when they built it so that the boats would have a place to tie up. The second problem is that all of South Florida is built on porous limestone. It's built on old coral and sand. So when the water comes in like this, and it's getting worse every year with sea level rise, when the water rushes in, and we get these higher than normal tides, it can literally come up from underneath the seawall. So seawalls are not necessarily, unless there's a technology I've never seen, seawalls are not necessarily the solution to our global warming problems. And this is just the beginning. Anyone who's following sea level rise in, in South Florida, around America and around the world knows that this is just the beginning. And what the seawater does is it, it can go underground through the limestone, create pressure inland, keep the fresh water from coming out of the Everglades, from getting to the ocean, and it rises up. It's already causing septic tanks to fail out west. And when we have a good rainstorm, if, we, if it coincides with these higher than normal tides, people end up with a backyard full of water. And here's the opening with the cleat. And they haven't been able to solve this problem and the water rushed in yesterday, if you see the video I made yesterday. And here we are again. It's back again. So if you're concerned about sea level rise, start paying attention now for your own good, for the good of your family, friends, community. Start paying attention and get involved and start trying to find solutions if that's even possible. But mainly, mainly get involved. The public officials need to hear from you. Okay, so we just took a look at the flooding on the cruise ship side, and here's the flooding on the south side of the Intercoastal Bridge. And to be frank with you, I'm not walking through this today. It's too deep, and I don't know what's in it. So I'm going to take the day off from walking through it, but I want you to see the flooding is a lot worse. These poor people are up to their foundations in it. This is the future. This is the future. This water, it's very hard to stop it. As you can see, it's hard to stop. And all I'm asking is that people consider this and really pay attention. Really pay attention because one day this might force you to make some life decisions. Thank <laughs> you.